meditation does, it bleeds itself into my life uh, in such a way that the attentiveness that is the basis of sitting on a cushion in stillness becomes more and more how I live. So there's less reacting, more uh, what I would call encountering life, which is the doorway to being intimate with everything that life has to offer. I mean, there are worlds, there are universes inside these everyday, ordinary items. On many sidewalks, there are little loogies. You may, if you look, you'll find little black circles on just about any sidewalk that's well-traveled. I never noticed it until I caught myself, eyes downcast, walking on a, on a sidewalk in Squirrel Hill, did I notice that it is densely populated with these little round circles. I think they're a discarded gum that people just spit out. It, it occurred to me as I noticed this, and I just let myself take a big picture of it, it looked like a picture from the Hubble. The more I just stayed with it, it looked like some of galaxies in space, only the background was the concrete. And here were these um, things, these circular things, looking very much like galaxies, you know, different sizes, uh, different um, thicknesses. Let's say that they're gum that have been trampled over the top, but what if they are? There's a universe in gum, too. There is, uh, it comes from a tree that grows somewhere. The earth is in that piece of gum by virtue of the plant that gives rise to the fibers that people construct into the gum. Somebody has thought up flavoring. The sun is in it, the water's in it, the earth is in it. And, you know, everything in the world is right there in a piece of gum that you see past its prime, spat out on the sidewalk, looking like maybe a galaxy.